Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, Rock is away, Christmas is here, bring Hello, um, this is Cheese Productions, and I'm gonna be unboxing my new sewing machine, and, um, if you hear any noise in the background, that's because I'm watching other furry YouTubers, because it's, well, fun to watch furry YouTubers while you're doing furry shit, so, let me, let me start opening it. I guess I'm using a paint knife to do this. Ooh, it's actually working. That's surprising. Okay, did it work all the way? Or do I have to stab it again? Yep, I had to stab it again. <laughs> yes, I'm using the word stab instead of cut because I'm, I'm a weirdo. Okay, so. This tape is surprising. It just cuts like butter. That was funny. One of my older fursuits was named Butter before I named it um, a different thing. Okay, now let's. Okay, the main box is open. God, this box is so crusty. Okay, now. Ooh, this is heavy. Ooh. I have to stand up for this. Okay. So, fun fact about this sewing machine. It can do embroidery. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to open it upside down. Okay. I'm sorry, sewing to be very careful. Besides that, it's covered in styrofoam, so it should be safe anyway. Okay, so. Okay, so, um, this sewing machine can do embroidery. Um, and other cool stuff. So, I can make teeth, claws, paws, um, miniature fur details that need to be sewn in like, um, on top of the fur instead of into the fur. Oh, put this over. Oh. Here's the one. I'm not going to use it in this video, but I just want to show it off. Um, okay. So taking the shell off the peanut. Ooh, almost out. Oh my god, this thing is beautiful. I guess I just cut plastic with the paint one. Oh my gosh. So. Did it come with needles, or do I have to install it? Oh no, it came with a needle already installed. That's good. Okay, now let's look at the needle. Hmm, it's not dull like my last one, so that's really pretty. Well, making sure everything is... Okay. How do I lift the foot on this one? Is it this? Oh, that's different. Instead of it on the side, it's right there. Okay. So, let me get the camera closer. Okay, so. This is basically the, the sewing machine. It's the... This. I used to have the Singer Classic, and it used to break and actually almost caught on fire once. And it would break through fur constantly, despite, like... If, even if I used the right needles, um, it would clog no matter how many times I did everything right. Like, I even looked up tutorials, even though I've been using that sewing machine for years. It just didn't work anymore. It just, I even tried the fabric I used to use on it. It just didn't work. But I finally got it replaced. Um, oh my god. So... It's very much different. More controls, more settings, and then this 
beautiful array of threading patterns instead of that one single one that that the singer classic can do and then this beautiful screen where you can like see what you chose and the the speed and everything and then what i like about this one is it came with a bobbin so all i have to do is thread the the thread in which is so nice and i actually do have a bobbin um winder rewinder um let me grab it it's right here it looks like a standard uh, um, sewing kit, but it's actually, it's also Singer brand. I love Singers. Um, now let me open it. Let me set the camera down. Okay, there we go. This, this beautiful thing is a bobbin winder. So basically, like, you just, like, wrap the thread through. You put the thread through here, and then you press this button. Um... It has like a little thing contraption, so it isn't battery powered unless you put batteries in there. And I'm not gonna put batteries in there just yet, cause I don't like having things on the go when I can just like plug it in and <laughs> not risk corroding batteries, um, which I do quite often. I'm trying to put the battery thing back on. There we go. But yeah, it's like the old blob and winders that they used to sell looked nothing like this, and it was actually like. The only bobbin, other bobbin winder that they used to sell was actually in the very first Singer that they ever sold, which was a, basically a sewing machine in a table, and the bobbin winder was was installed into that table because you just couldn't use it without, like, um, well, having it out of the table because the mechanism would connect with the sewing machine itself. Um, some sewing machines themselves have, like, a thing where you can, like, rewind the bi bobbin, like, itself in the sewing machine, but I find it much easier than trying to figure it out on the sewing machine, going through extra steps when I already know how to use the sewing machine. Just get this sucker. It is so amazing. Like, I've, I've, like, stocked up on so many bobbins for a tiny sewing machine, so it won't fit in, the, the other bobbins won't fit in this I have a tiny Singer sewing machine that's actually made for children, and that's what I learned sewing on, and I bought it, like, five to six years ago, and it worked awesomely. Like, no other practice sewing machine for kids, like, ever worked that good, and, like, I actually made my very first pair of fursuit pants. I can't show them because I no longer have the pictures, or I just have to go through... <laughs> through my very old Instagram accounts with, like, my very first fursuit, and that would look awful, but I'll, I'll probably include that in my next video, um, but, yeah, look at this thing, well, let me not flip it over, so, as you can see, more controls, here's a grip right here, you can tr change the grip, um, instead of, like, the the thing sticking straight up out of the Singer Classic. It's right here. Oh, here's the bobbin winder right here. See, look, it's right here. Or this might be the upper bobbin, like if you wanna have like triple strength. Um, But I think this is actually a bobbin rewinder. I'm gonna look through the to the, the papers soon. Um, but yeah, yeah. And this one also has like the instructions of how to thread it on it. Which I probably won't use that because they're very, they're not, they're very vague. Um, and I'll just refer to the, the manual. Oh my god, the amount of, like, warnings of the plastic bag should not be near babies and children. Well, I'm a grown adult and I still don't think I should be trusted with the plastic bag. I'm just kidding. Now is this... Oh, this is for packaging it when I pack it up and if I ever decide to bring it with me somewhere. Um, and the pedal. And then I think that's it. Um, um, the only thing I might do is actually keep the box because I know it won't fit back in there despite, like, this styrofoam. Because styrofoam will expand the longer, like, you have it set out. And I've had it set out for, like, a good ten minutes. 
so it won't it won't like fit in there unless I cut the styrofoam down and then it'll expand again until like I have nothing left to styrofoam um this is this is me speaking from experience because like I had um I had like a little box for a skull dog that I bought a while ago um but so I'm just gonna keep the box for actually for like a fursuit commission like because you can like fold everything up nicely into a box because my very first commission that I did um not my very first it was like one of my ones that I've done in this state that I live in I've done other ones in like North Dakota and Georgia but that's about it um but like this box is perfect it's the perfect size for like maybe a bodysuit if you fold it correctly and it's like not a thick fur but like there we go <laughs> So I actually have a use for the box because I have a lot of boxes in my room. And actually, no, this is not trash. It's just, well, this is, but like there's just foam scraps on the floor and then a box full of um, fursuit making stuff and then paws and then bases. And this is all art stuff. It's not trash. It's just, and then there's a pattern down there and there is a box of, oh, I, oh, yeah, this is actually for blending. I don't use it for paths. Um, this is, this is my sewing desk that I have to fix, and then there's a fursuit base I'm gonna turn into something. That's gonna be a personal suit. I mean, all, like, the other suits over here, besides cheese, cheese will forever be my personal suit. Um, this probably won't be a personal suit, and this probably won't be a personal suit. And if you look over there, there's my, my hamster's container. Um, and then there's, <laughs> there's scraps. I'm actually gonna do a video on him, um, because he's actually really well made. Besides the wrinkles, he was my first attempt. Actually, not my first attempt. He was a revamp of a kimono suit. Um, and then you can see over there, um, um, there's um, that that um, little nose you see over there. That is actually um, one of the very first foam suits that I made. Um, and I'm re refurbing its eyes. And the eye refurbing actually isn't going that bad. It's actually sewn really well. It just looks crappy from a distance and I didn't brush it. Um, there's a, there's a Dyna mask and then there's the school dog pre-made and know that it's not full of trash and it's literally full of art supplies and foam and stuff. Um, that dresser right there is actually full of hamster stuff. Um, fun fact, my hamster is, um, one of those like allergen free hamsters cause I do have cats, but they do not come in this room. <laughs> so don't worry about like that if you ever commissioned me just a fun fact but that hamster never touches any of the suits the only reason my suits are near that like my personal suits um it's because i'm i'm not allergic to hamsters or hamster dandruff so yeah um so that is it um i know this video is quite longer than my other ones but um oh yeah you can see my golden guard mask I may have a thing for the owl house and characters because <laughs> hyperfixation. But yeah, um, there will be uh, tutorials on how to make um, claws and teeth in the future because now I have a proper machine to show you guys um, because I know how to use this machine. It's similar to the Singer Classic, just a lot more controls. Um, and basically, um, the other video that I did have in the works, um, that is when that sewing machine decided to go <laughs> on me, and I just, it just, the parts needed to be replaced, and that's too expensive, so, new a sewing machine, um, but yeah, oh yeah, and here's who I was looking, watching, this awesome dude, he's really fun to watch, oh, you can see my tea stash, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end the video now. Hi, if you're new to my channel, check out my Patreon, Etsy shop, and Twitter or Insta accounts. My Etsy shop currently has a sale going on, so if you personally check that out, you will see how much the prices have changed. If you um, subscribe to my Patreon, you will, on any tier, you will get shouted out in my videos. And if you check out my Twitter and Insta accounts, I will personally give you a code to my Etsy shop that gives you about 100 $99 off. So, please check it out. Goodbye, my beans.